Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Smash for Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. We're in Cabo, and before we get into the show, we just want to uh, extend our thoughts and prayers to DeMar Hamlin, the Buffalo Bills football player who was badly injured in the Monday Night Football game. And we saw it in real time. Yeah. Like, we saw it, and we were like, oh! The last report, he was in critical but stable condition, and his vitals had been... Um, that he was you know, okay in that regard, but obviously there's a long way to go here, and we don't know what's going to happen, but we just wanted to uh, extend our thoughts and prayers on yeah. that. That happened to my girlfriend. Uh, my girlfriend, Candace Gorsuch, she went skiing. You know, they own, you know, the Gorsuch, which ski rentals, you know, lift stuff. In all Vail in, and in Aspen. Vail and Aspen. Uh-huh. And she is, like, a crazy skier. Like, she does no fear and she went down, hit a tree hard. If she didn't have her helmet on, she would have died. Yeah, it, so. I mean, it's a reminder of just how fleeting life can be and how quickly things can, but they, can take she, a turn. But they thought she had a stroke. She had a severe concussion. Right. So Well, uh, best of luck to her, too. I think yeah. she's doing better, and she's that's good. She's doing it, yeah. All right, now back to the show. Here's Kelly's uh, hat that she just purchased here in Cabo. We are at the JW Marriott in Cabo, San Lucas, Mexico. Um, love this property i know i do too this is further north than we've been staying and where you're you're used to staying yeah i never stay on this side so like cabo san lucas it's big like it's and growing and growing it's it's uh so there's this part where you can go doom bugging and then there is el dorado there's uh cabo azul the viceroy is all around here then i like it downtown which is there's a bunch of restaurants really cool bars um that's where the office that's where everybody goes to party that's where all the bars are that's where all the cool restaurants Sammy hagar's bar cabo wabo uh they have bagatelle they have this other one that julie likes bagatelle looks beautiful we actually went there once bagatelle here Mm -hmm. oh i know yeah Yeah, we went here but that and then that's 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 off the marina that's about 30 or 40 minutes south of us. And we're, we're sort of closer to the airport, a little bit north on the Pacific. But I'm saying if this was your first time oh, coming to Cabo. My, my geography's bad. Go ahead. But I'm saying if this was your first time coming to Cabo, I prefer it by the office, by the Hacienda, by El Pedregal. That's the hot spot. Right? That's the hot spot. That's yeah. where if you were to come to Cabo first. Yeah. So people are always asking, where do you go? Where do you stay? And... Um, Fortunately, we have some friends that live in El Dorado, which is a discovery property, and they that's where like the Kardashians live, the Madison Club. The t- discovery means it's like an um, it's kind of like an all inclusive. It's insane playground for the rich, rich, rich. In fact, we have a video coming up, sort of a tribute to my old friend Robin Leach, you know, "Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous." So your friend Doug, we're going to do a, give you a little home tour of the house he just he's finishing building now at El Dorado. It's in sick, so that that's actually coming up. I wanted to share a quick story. We were sitting pool, poolside. And Wait, I was didn't like, Robin Leach um, uh, do your wedding? Your yes, wedding that did. only lasted six months? Well, he didn't do it. He was there. He was my best, my man. best man, if you will. He was my witness. He was your witness. Yeah. Um, and he was a good friend. I loved the guy. He was an awesome, what did he awesome, die of? generous guy. He was older and he was not in good shape. He was very overweight. And um, I don't remember the specific cause of death, but I mean... I really wanted to. Um, I think it was like seventy. I really wanted to show my girlfriend Asia's house. Yeah. But I, I feel like um, she's very private. Her husband wouldn't like it. No. No. So I didn't even but ask. We were Doug. So uh, we were sitting down by the pool, and I asked for the for the menu, and I and she's kind of like, "Well, what's on it?" And I said, "Oh, there's a a, a crudites plate." <laughs> and I go crudite. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Which you can totally pronounce every single word that's written <laughs> in the book. But when you read that, I died laughing. <laughs> I want to celebrate our channel for a minute. Um, I, I We mentioned yesterday that our show on Friday had close to 20,000 views in the morning and 10,000 in the evening. Um, we gained more than 350 new subs on Friday. So thank you guys for being here with us. Yes. Um, we're well over 31,000 now. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we hope that you'll do it now. And if you like our content, if you already are subscribed, tell your friends about it and have them sign up because here in 2023, we want to uh, kick some ass. We wanna, yeah. We want to double our numbers. We want to we we kick some ads. Yeah, that. Yeah. We <laughs> we had almost three and a half million views in 2022 on the Rick and Kelly Show channel. Three and a half million views. That's a lot, yeah. Rick. And we just started. And the watch time, 631,500 hours. 
So thank you guys. Thank you very for much watching for watching us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if you're not subscribed to the Rick and Kelly show on Patreon.com, we'd love for you to join us there. We're posting our 72nd show this week. It includes highlights of our New Year's Eve celebration at El Dorado and discussions of things that we cannot talk about here on YouTube. The show on Patreon is longer, uncensored, unfiltered, and commercial free. And it costs just five bucks to join, and you'll get all of our content and new shows every week. It's the price of a single cup of coffee to join us at The Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon.com. Uh, Reel of the day. Oh, yeah. It's, it's Kelly Poolside. And I just want to say this was one take. One take. And so I would just like to say to you and to everyone here, Gracias para vivar en la casa, en las escuelas, en el azul. Well, I just thought, it, I love that movie Bridesmaids. It's from that movie Bridesmaids. Yeah. And, you know, I am Mexican. Somebody said it was so funny um, on my TikTok. Somebody goes, but your mom is white. <laughs> I'm like, well, my mom is like 40% Native American. She looks white. But what about all the uh, Mexico City people that are blonde hair blue eyes do they look white i mean like 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 honestly like it when people that are so like stupid and talk so ignorant like it, it's just it's so it just gets me so mad and so riled up on how ignorant people can be out there there's a similar uh, prejudice against light-skinned black that, people light-skinned black people are like oh you're white you know like, yeah so you know, we're all, well, almost, most of us are mixes. I, I happen to be 99.9% .9 Ashkenazi Jew, but. You're inbred. But, but you're a rainbow, and so are a lot of people. Yeah. But that video that you did got more than 200,000 views in less than 24 hours. I was funny. I think we were with, um, I think it was Desmond or somebody, that guy that played football and. Uh, basketball. Basketball. And he says, I said something about African American, and he goes, I'm not from Africa. I'm American. Right. And I was like, you know, you, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. I'm like, you know, it's like. <laughs> uh, 200,000, more than 200,000 views in 24 hours on that uh, reel on Instagram. And your followers didn't budge on Instagram, which surprised me because if you have that many people watching, they obviously love your content. Why wouldn't they follow you on Instagram? And if they are trying to follow you, why aren't your numbers going up? And and I just, we talked about shadow banning before, and I just, I wonder about that. I don't know that it's happening, but it just seems weird to me. Yeah. Her Instagram handle is at Kelly D. Dodd, so she's a follower if you aren't already. Mm -hmm. um, we have another reel coming up this Why afternoon. Why don't you follow you? Why don't you have people follow you? Oh, at Rick Leventhal. Yeah. Follow me, too. I have 64,000. She's got 767,000. And I have so. bought, I did not buy one of them. And a lot of people that. They're legit. Uh, they're legit. Well, I didn't buy any either. Well, a lot of people do. I'm not going to name names, but a lot of people on OC. <laughs> we have another reel this afternoon that we know you'll love. So come back to the channel this afternoon, and you know if you subscribe, you'll get a notification if you hit the bell every time we post something new. A couple of viewer comments. Uh, they liked our show on the beach yesterday. Oh yeah, that's cool. It was Thank really, you guys. That was really fun. We just we just like got down on the sand and just. It was funny when Julie rolled. My yeah. poor kid. <laughs> she. This has been an accident from hell this this trip accident prone trip oh my god so like one day she gets bit by a bug really bad then she breaks out into a hive then she's got hives H hives and but she was like no but that's what she said <laughs> mommy i have a hive she was mommy look i have a hive no, and then and then she had blisters on the back of her foot yep. from her shoes yeah and, and then she tripped me on the beach and when uh, she tripped me she hurt her foot yeah then she cut her foot Oh, and, she cut her foot, too. Yeah, then yeah. she cut her foot. It's like, I mean, it she's was... She's limping around. She's limping around. Oh, she pulled a muscle. Oh, yeah. Pulled yeah. Pulled a muscle in the gym. And, she was working out for like three hours one and day. And she pulled a muscle, and she wanted a massage, so we gave her a massage. I'm like, <laughs> dude, you're like the princess uh -huh. of the princess. <laughs> um, Nikki Brooks said, this episode This episode was jam-packed full of goodies. Jolie made a guest appearance. Rick's book is out for pre-sale. The Rick and Kelly Show have an Amazon favorites list. The view was absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for taking us along on your vacation. And then you were talking about my the audio version of my book, Chasing Catastrophe, which comes out on my birthday, January 24th. I, I have so many people that um, pre-ordered. Uh, pre pre-ordered. So that's so cool. Uh, it is. And thank you for that. And I think I, you'll love it. And everyone's asking when we're going to do a tour, a, a, 
We're going to do some events. Some events. Um, there's nothing scheduled yet, but it, over the next few weeks, we're going to have events, and we'll let you know. Um, but I did an audio version of my book, and Kelly was talking about how she liked me to read to her. I do love when you read to me. And, Brooke, and I know a lot of women out there, which my followers, I have 96% women. And the ages, it's so funny looking at these analytics. Most of them are in their 30s. Well, they're 30, between 25 and 54. 25, well, Almost yeah. all of them. 25 and 54. Yeah. Um, Kelly, I must admit that the male voice is enticing too. If they don't have a voice that resonates with me, the guy doesn't have a chance. By the way, you have a good voice too, Kelly. I hate my voice. <laughs> <clears throat> She'll hate often it. tell me to turn it down when I'm editing. I, I, hate, like, I hate my voice. <laughs> But you do have a beautiful voice. I wish I had a voice like um, Jeff Lewis's sister-in-law, Carrie. She's got such a cute voice. I think you have a cute voice. Oh, thank you, honey. But uh, it was funny. Rick spoke to one of his agents today, and they said that they have a department to do voiceovers. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. I do, you, too. I love your I, voice. And, and I, can, I can do all kinds of things. I mean, radio, ads, read other books, uh, cartoons. You could do, um, <laughs> we're ready to rumble. Oh, let's get ready to rumble. Speaking of which, the UFC. That's oh, a great Dana segue. White. Yeah, that. well, actually, yes, you're right. It is a great segue. Um, I was going to do the home tour first because that's. Oh, because he, he had the rundown. Okay. That, but, but excellent. I like where your head's at. Real quick, um, we do want to show you a, a home tour from El Dorado. Um, Kelly's friend Doug's house. How do you know Doug again? Doug is my friend um, from Arizona. He's best friends with Ernie Garcia, whom I'm friends with, and Artie Moreno. Um, two billionaires, by the All way. All very wealthy men. Ernie Garcia started Carvana, and uh, Artie Moreno owns the Angels. Both the California of them. Angels. Yeah, they're both my billionaire friends. And Doug is good friends with them. Yes. And Doug already had a house at El Dorado and bought a lot and built a new one. And he sold his other property. Right. And now he said that for the right price, he'll sell this one. So I'm like, okay, well, we'll put it on our show and see what happens. But we're putting it on just so you can get a, a glimpse into this incredible lifestyle, this incredible property. Um, which, which which a lot of the... the um, so that's where El Dorado is where Randy Gerber and... Uh, Cindy Crawford. C Randy Gerber, C Cindy Crawford, but Randy Gerber and G George Clooney started Casa Amigos. Oh, right. So when you go... Anywhere around the comfort stations, there's Casa Amigos everywhere. Because that's where they got the idea to do Casa Amigos. And they sold it for a billion dollars. The comfort stations are like the greatest thing on oh earth. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys. They have nachos. They have pizza. They have candy. They have ice cream. Ice cream they have margarita machines. They have a, a bartender in there ready to do give you drinks. They and have just a, they have sprinkled these, around the, the golf they course. They got these cups of, of salad. And you can put all these accoutrements on it and shake it and make your own thing. They have a candy bar. Yeah, um, there's one up by the ball field because they have a whole like f full on baseball field with football goal posts and, and, and batting cages and that one has like bubble gum big chew bubble gum and, yeah. and like baseball themed stuff anyway here's Doug's house Doug's house has views for days it's on this top of this mountain this ridge area and it has views from every angle. It every has, window has a spectacular view. So you see like the whole 360. thing. Yeah, yeah, 360. So when you're looking out one window, you see the bullpen and you see the batting cages and then you see all the golf course. Then you look off to your left and there's the whole expansive ocean. And it's big. It's like 8,000 square feet. Oh, more. Ten, he, told, he told oh, me, ten. yeah, I think he said 11,000 square feet the house. I, I don't know. It's We're going to do a show, Cribs 2. <laughs> And this is going to be yeah, the, the first installment. <laughs> there was a, a huge theater, a home theater. Yes. They didn't didn't have the seats or the screens it had up a dirty, yet. It had a dirty kitchen. Big dirty kitchen behind the huge real kitchen. Like took so two kitchens in one, which you know. And most then of these it had have. and then it had views from every room. And then every There's back more. of had beautiful uh, marble. He said the marble there is very inexpensive. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I wonder if that's where like Arizona Tile gets their tile from. Perhaps. Because there's big quarries here. They, he had a bunch of outdoor showers. Um, every bedroom had its own bath, of course. And, and the, I really like the hardware. The doors, yeah. thick wood doors. Are, they're all high ceilings and really 
tall doors. So he told us that Russell Wilson uh, put an offer in and he backed out at the last minute. Russell Wilson from uh, now the Denver Broncos. Yeah. And he said the guy wanted to write a check. It, no, he wanted to yeah, finance. He it. wanted to finance it. And Doug goes, well, "You just signed a two hundred forty million dollar contract. Why don't you just? Why would you write a check? Like pay cash." But I don't know that that's. But then, then he, he said apparently that Russell Wilson wanted to sell one of his other homes before he bought another one. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, the house is spectacular. It's super cool. I um, love doing these. I love looking at people's big, humongous houses. Yeah. It's so much fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, there was a whole TV show around it, so. Yeah, and we appreciate Doug's uh, generosity in yeah. letting us come in and, and giving I really us a wanted tour. to show Asia's house because every room was different. Like, every room had lacquer, like, it was a blue room, like, royal colors, you know, royal blue. Then one had uh, royal purple. One had... Uh, was there a pink room? There was a pink room, like a hot pink room. I mean, every room... Had, was beautiful. It yeah. was so different and so neat. And yeah. but I have to respect their. I didn't even ask. Maybe well, I should have. That's all right. Okay. Hello, plane. Hello, plane. Okay. Um, in the news now. Do your do your. Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> Wait. In the news now. In the news. Actually, are you ready to rumble? Is a boxing. Well, it's kind thing. of the same thing. I don't know what they say at UFC fights. Something. Maybe they do say that. Are you, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? I didn't practice. UFC's Dana White and his wife Anne uh, both apologize after video of alcohol-fueled slapping incident surfaces. Who are they apologizing to? They should worry about apologizing to themselves. Who cares what other people think? They were down here in Cabo, mm-hmm. as were we for New Year's Eve. Everybody was here. A lot of people were here. Every 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 famous celebrity, including was here. UFC president Dana White, who apologized for an incident in Mexico involving his wife Anne. The fracas allegedly occurred at a nightclub in Cabo. White told TMZ Sports he and his wife had been drinking, but it was no excuse for him allegedly. Sla- allegedly, you can see it in the video. Yeah, why is there allegedly? Why are they saying allegedly slapped her before <laughs> no, she he allegedly did. slapped him? Dude, she be- bitch slapped him, and then he. Dana White says there was definitely a lot of alcohol, but there's no excuse. I'm literally making no excuses for this thing at all. It's never happened before. Baloney. <laughs> it's the first time that it's ever happened. Yeah, right. Dude, and- <laughs> if you could slap people right in front of people in a public space, dude, they probably beat the crap out of each other behind closed doors all the time. He says... Allegedly. It- <laughs> he says it is what it is and whatever people do say it's deserved i deserve it it happened i don't know why it happened and my wife and i have apologized to each other we've apologized to our kids and this is one of those things that everyone is going to chime in i could care less what people think about this yeah we're more concerned about our kids and taking care of our good family. okay well they did say that well but then you look at the video i mean it just i'm only saying because there's no reason to say allegedly Oh, she slapped him first, though. She's, Hard. So do you think it's her fault? Yeah, I do. She started it. I think if... Do you think I don't was- think a man should hit a woman under any circumstance, but I don't think a woman should hit a man any under any circumstance. I don't think there should be hitting unless... I agree. You see somebody cheating on you or somebody hits your kid. I mean... Or was he or justified? You wanna, or, or you want to um, bitch slap Tamara Judge, which <laughs> I want to do? <laughs> was he justified in slapping her back? I think it could have been a knee jerk reaction. Yeah. When somebody hits you, your first line of defense is to hit him right back. I mean, and they're and if drunk they were and drunk. Yeah, that you know, alcohol does a lot of crazy things yes. to a lot of crazy people. His wife also released a statement. Dana and I have been married for almost 30 years. To say this is out of character for him is an understatement. Nothing like this has ever happened before, Ann White told TMZ Sports. Unfortunately, we were both drinking too much on New Year's Eve, and things got out of control on both sides. We've talked this through as a family and apologized to each other. I just hope people will respect our privacy for the sake of our kids. Well, good for them for being married for 30 years. Yeah. You know, I mean, things happen in a marriage, you know? Things happen. But... You know, it's if they can get over it, that's their business. Good for them. Good for them. Good for them for slapping each other and then saying sorry. Yeah. 
I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Uh, but it is our last day in Cabo. We're getting out of here soon, so I'm a little loopy. Um, there's a story. Well, we didn't drink at all today. No, we didn't. And we didn't drink last night. We had that one. That was it. We shared it. I could barely drink it. it oh, gross. that drink was. Oh, I wanted to talk about that. We're going to talk about that this afternoon about okay. our dinner at, at Acre. I want to talk about that because that place is okay, sick. We can, can we go to Acre or Acre? And they're like, it's Acre. <laughs> Acre. Uh -huh. I think it's Acre. 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 Story, a story we didn't get to over the weekend. A wheel of misfortune. And I didn't tell you about this. A 400-foot-tall Ferris wheel at Orlando, Florida's Icon Park lost power Saturday, leaving 62 riders suspended in midair. <gasps> the wheel lost I power. I would have freaked. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, did I say that bad word? Oh. Look at the size of that thing. I, for how many hours? It, hold on. I'm not sure how long they were stuck. Let me look. They, they closed it for a few days. I, ha I have that here. Um, 80 firefighters attempted to rescue them. It took three hours. Could you imagine if you had to go, like, number two really bad? <laughs> well, they probably did when they got stuck. And you're stuck on there. That alone was enough to make them want to go <laughs> to the bathroom. Could you imagine? Like, what are they, but let alone, imagine? what about number one? Are they peeing their pants? Are they yeah. hanging it over the side of the Ferris wheel thing? Well, those are real golden showers, then, <laughs> if that's the case. It does not so. sound like fun. I was stuck in an elevator once for two hours. So was I. I was stuck in the elevator. Not for two hours. At, at, at for church. 20 minutes you were stuck. I was stuck for, at, no, 40 minutes in, in San Francisco at church and I was getting okay. totally baptized. I was stuck for at, two hours. At, um, two hours. At, by myself. Okay. I win. Alright, that's the worst. <laughs> that's the this, worst. That, is that worse or is this worse? Being stuck on a Ferris wheel 400 well, foot Well, I would say being stuck in your position at the Palazzo in the elevator you, you you were playing that music really really loud yeah it was the Muzak was was mind numbing uh, volume and they why do couldn't you call it, it Muzak uh, because that's a term for elevator music that's just like uh, not the actual song but songs that sound like the actual song and there's a loop so it just just keeps playing the same 50 and songs it was really over. loud um, yeah. I would prefer to be outside you would yeah because I, I'm claustrophobic well, this is pretty bad too, but at least you're out like in the elements and you're like looking around. You would have been freaking I think, the F out. I think an elevator is far worse. Okay. What do you well, guys you think? Have it. What yeah, do you what guys do you think? think? What would, you rather, what, what would, would you, rather? you rather be stuck in? <laughs> the Palazzo and Vegas elevator at five o'clock in the morning or on this bad boy? On this 400 Oh wait, it's Ferris wheel. That, that Ferris wheel isn't closed though. No, so, it's, it's, it's no, look they're back. open cars. No, right there. It looks like it's enclosed. See? Oh, oh, oh. They're like boxes. And that may probably make it worse for that you. That would make it worse for me. Okay, fine. <laughs> you picked the, I, I, you I picked the, the elevator over the first one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, because a, you don't know it. The elevator could crash, right? right? That's our morning show from Cabo. Uh, we hope you will tune in this afternoon for the PM edition of the Daily Smash. And we hope you're having a smash-tastic day. Yeah, smashers. Go get smashed today. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I mean, not like get hammered. Just like smash it up. Smash something. Just smash something. Or smack somebody. And subscribe. Ow! <laughs>